Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4. And when we last left off, we were continuing to make our factory. It's scheduled to be done in July of this year, which is much better uh, than our last factory for sure. The power is going to hold us back. So we were researching coal processing technology, and hopefully that is something we can research several times over to get a boost in power production so we can run our factories at maximum capacity. So right now we're only putting out five out of six, and that spurs uh, the upgrades and the production of this factory. Our units are upgrading uh, fairly well. I believe the guys in the north should be fairly done. Uh, just light artillery and infantry anti-tank uh, being produced there. And then of course it's going to trickle down uh, the, the entire way down the army. Uh, these guys I don't think have even started their production yet or their upgrades. We need a lot of industrial capacity to continue these upgrades, but we're only putting one of our industrial capacity towards those upgrades, uh, making sure that we can keep our factory production up. Now, once the factory gets built, if we don't have the power to run it, I think we would focus more on uh, the upgrades, get everyone upgraded, and maybe even recruit some new divisions, because uh, right now our army is looking a little bit thin, uh, we're not exactly the powerhouse of uh, Germany or, say, the United States. Uh, speaking of Germany, they have the en entire uh, south of Norway uh, occupied. And there's one victory point left before Norway falls. And it sort of looks like Germany's trying to make a concerted push, uh, but Norway is defending fairly well. Still nothing on the Soviet front as far as uh, Finland and uh, Germany down here on the Polish border. It will be interesting to see if in this episode the pact breaks down and the Soviet Union starts to invade. Here on the Maginot Line, no movement between the United Kingdom and Germany, and Belgium is still actually holding out fairly well. They haven't capitulated yet. Uh, Brussels is holding fast with, with uh, French in the north. The uh, British are in the east. And no movement from the Italian side either, uh, moving into France. So France is fine. Communist China has been liberated by Japan. So it looks like Communist China has fallen to Japan. Uh, let's take a look at the Japanese front here. There's Shanxi. Yeah, occupations all over the place. I'm sure Nationalist China will push back a little bit. But that's not our concern. Our concern is here on our borders. We still have the United Kingdom and France to our west, Saudi Arabia to our south, and I don't believe Saudi Arabia is making any big pushes um, toward the war effort. They're drifting Axis, but also evenly uh, drifting towards the common turn and a little bit pull back up toward the Allies. So they're not really going much of anywhere. All right, the computing machine advance. All right. Research efficiency, that is what I'm talking about. Uh, so, the mechanical computing machine. Let's take a look and see. Um, level 3 is 1943 tech, so we do not need uh, that. We're still on the coal, the desert warfare, and the people's army. Uh, we are about six months away from being on time with industrial production. So, I think some more infantry. Well, I mean, we're already researching desert warfare we could do something like militia um, I don't know if these guys are technically classified as militia I mean they're infantry but they're reserves so if there's something that we could uh, research to improve the the militia that would be fine although engineers I don't know exactly what engineers can do uh, suppression, we don't have to worry about revolt, so we don't need any suppression. Uh, construction of mountain infantry might not be bad. Um, let's see if there's something else in the industry tab we can start researching. Uh, let's see, advanced construction infrastructure. Uh, rockets, rockets aren't really going to help us. 1941, the electronic computing machine. For more research efficiency, that looks pretty good. Uh, we don't need decryption, so let's work on that 
uh, electronic computing machine, shall we? Seems like a good thing to do. Uh, once we get done with coal processing technology, we'll probably get coal processing too, if that indeed does improve our power. We make 10 in our home territory, we use 9.99. So we are running as hard as we can in our production, but it's still not enough to keep our factory going. So we definitely need uh, energy. It's a shame we can't convert crude oil into energy, but that could be where our technology is. The Well, it's coal, but you know, we're, we're doing well. Uh, we'll see next month if the coal processing technology actually does anything for us or not. Uh, then we'll be close enough, maybe, to go ahead and start looking into the industrial production and industrial efficiency uh, to, to get more bang for our buck on the uh, production that we are doing uh, as far as our factories are concerned. So if we can't run all factories at full speed, at least the factories that are running will run better. And that's the ultimate goal. So just a few months away from our second factory, um, after that we may look into recruiting and building more divisions. Uh, it wouldn't make any sense at all to improve our industrial capacity without the power to run it. So it all hinges on this coal processing plant. If this plant does give us extra power, we are going to be great. Um, let's see, theories. Supply? We do have an issue with supply. It wouldn't be a bad idea to, once we get done with this electronic computing machine, to look into some supplies. Uh, more throughput would be good. Uh, that way our units get everything that they need. I believe the ones in the north, yes, are getting all their supplies, but the headquarters division is suffering quite heavily. Um, but it looks like the Air Force and the um, Shaukat are getting everything that they need. Stands to reason. All right, those guys are fully upgraded. Uh, these guys are going to get their light artillery and anti-tank weapons soon-ish. Um, I believe we'll be okay if Turkey or Persia decide to join the Axis power. I think our divisions are strong enough to help defend. I don't know if they're strong enough to make a push uh, without more numbers. So that's where recruiting new divisions are going to come into play. Still July 21st, 1941. It'd be nice to get that little spurring boost of energy that we get every now and then to run it at full capacity and just shave off a few weeks uh, would be ideal. But really this coal processing technology is going to be the way of things and we're about a month away from that. So Norway still hasn't folded. Germany isn't making a hard beeline towards uh, Narvik, which is their last victory point. Once they take that, I mean, Norway would be capitulated and under a puppet status of Germany, I believe. We're also about six months away from the, um, the historical Pearl Harbor. So we are going to see if Japan uh, hits Hawaii as they did in real life and see if the United States is brought into the war under the ally banner. But everything's looking good. We still have our plane flying around. We have one plane in our arsenal and I set them up to do a patrol over Baghdad. Uh, Al Haditha. I don't think I have them heading over here. Maybe Kirkuk also doing the patrol during the daytime. At nighttime they're grounded. Um, at least in Hearts of Iron 4, the chance of an accident goes up when you fly at night, which is, you know, to be expected. Uh, there's no night vision technology quite yet. Uh, pilots would be pretty blind, um, especially out here in the open desert with real no lights to guide you. You'd have to rely on your instruments a lot on a moonless night for sure. So, yeah, cold processing still going we're moving at a pretty good clip here uh it's an hour every quarter second or so so each day goes by fairly quickly just working on those uh let's take a look at our greatest threat is still germany our neutrality is let's see 85 you know i think i mentioned this before but our relations with ourselves aren't that good 
And that sounds kind of odd. You would think that we are our own best friend, but that is not to be. Naval base. I don't think Navy... I mean, it's a level four naval base, but I don't think sending out a ship into the central Persian Gulf would help us out at all, especially since we're not at war with either Persia or Saudi Arabia. And I'm pretty sure the United Kingdom would have that on lock. If not, they should. And what are they doing with their lives? Yeah, Germany hasn't tried to invade. I imagine that is a pretty tall order. I've never tried to do it myself. Well, I mean, obviously, this is my first playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3, but to get naval superiority through the channel and get people across would be a, a tall order indeed. And I imagine these guys are pretty stacked on their forces. But it looks like the United Kingdom has committed most of its forces on the Maginot Line. And that just looks like a big staring match, really. Uh, no one wants to pull the trigger and jump across. Although, uh, this part of Germany looks undefended. I mean, they have a few divisions. Well, a few divisions, I say. They have a lot of divisions there, but no forts to overcome. So, if the British wanted to make the jump across the Maginot Line, they could. Um, but if they're content just chilling right there, they're kind of like us. Uh, just on the border, defending well. Uh, except we have the unenviable task of building up our armed forces. Uh, 70,000 manpower. So we do have enough to bring some more troops into the fold. Um, but we don't have the production to do it yet until July when our second factory comes online. Uh, that should increase our industrial capacity up again. It's just all about that power. So June 18th, we are a few weeks away from the coal processing plants, and hopefully that does give us power. If it does, I'm putting that back to the top of the queue uh, so we can research that fully and, you know, continue building our power. If we can't continue to build our power or that looks like it didn't do jack squat, um, we may just research the industrial efficiency and production. Probably efficiency first. Um, do taking what we have and making it better seems better than just Im improving our flat number because we're not running up to our flat number right now so it's not going to do us any good really uh, to, to improve that. I wish we could build power plants. It just kind of seems that we're uh, sort of screwed until we get maybe perhaps the nuclear reactor. If we restart... If we start researching atomic research and go down to nuclear research, atomic research industry, at least one, yep, yep. And then the civil nuclear research allows the construction of reactors that may give us power. But that's 1943. We could research up to nuclear research and maybe even isotope separation in quick succession. That's at least one and that's at least one. So it's not a multiple... Uh, research thing. Ah, uh, supplies were low. That's what that uh, was. I thought we were good on a technology or we had an event. Speaking of which, let's make sure that we are indeed producing all the consumer goods needed. 0.05 to keep the descent down. Supplies we're not throwing a whole lot into, but the upgrade need is going down slowly but surely. So these guys are getting... I don't like the edge scrolling. These guys are getting uh, all the things they need. So up north, they have all of their weapons. Light artillery is almost done there. Um, nice. Slowly but surely. And that sort of seems like the gameplay model for this country is slow and steady wins the race. Just research what you can. Uh, get them upgraded as you can. Don't throw yourself head first into a battle that you can't win and just build up the country uh, which we are definitely doing that with all of our technologies here so four days away from coal processing once that is researched we will look at the amount of power we produce in our country if that goes up from 10 we will research the next level uh, as soon as possible because that little extra bump in power 
may be enough for us to run at a full six industrial capacity and then factory comes out you know quicker uh our units will come out quicker the upgrades i don't think we'll spit them out uh any higher than one unless you know our factories can't run then we'll dedicate uh probably half production half upgrades and get some more uh divisions queued up Oop, I heard a beep boop. What is the beep boop? All right, coal processing technology up by 5%. So we'll give it till the end of the month, let's say, to see if this goes up uh, at all. But I honestly do not think it will. Communist China chose to give up. And indeed, we are not producing any. Uh, we're producing 10 in home territory, and like I said, I have no idea where that 10 power is even coming from. So researching coal technology isn't going to do us any good because, you know, we're, uh, we're not producing any energy here. Like, at all. I don't know where the 10 is coming from base, but it doesn't affect our base. So pr coal processing, too, is not going to do us any good. So for the time being, then, we will research in the industry the in industrial efficiency. We're a little bit ahead of time, about six months ahead of time. We'll put that to the top of the queue, uh, move the computing machine there, and work on industrial efficiency. So August, and then October, January, and then March. So we should get our desert warfare equipment sh fairly quickly. And, you know, unfortunately, we're not doing any better on producing in home territory. Let's see. Did we want atomic research to try to work down to the nuclear reactor and try to get some power that way? I don't know if the nuclear reactor will give us extra power. So we'll put that to the top of the queue. People's Army shuffles down. We'll see what we can do here. Iraq with Atomics. And uh, I actually had Atomics in my Hearts of Iron 4 game, which was kind of interesting. We dropped the uh, nuclear bomb on Japan. Uh, we got air superiority over there by some stretch of the imagination. And then we, we dropped the nuke. So it can be done. And we're about a month away from our second factory coming online. And then if we can't run any higher than five, uh, we'll, we'll just focus on building new divisions uh, with our production and probably split the production halfway between upgrades and uh, making those units. Though, you know, the upgrades are, the upgrades are fine. Uh, but if we get all of our units fully upgraded, then we get, like, the most bang for our buck with the units that we have. It's sort of a trade-off. But we'll, we'll go up that way. We'll make that decision when we cross it. Um, I just wish the United Kingdom would give us, trade us more power. And I don't even know if power is tradable. It'd be really cool if, like, we could run power lines to, say... Well, not much power at all is being made over here. 0.08 is being made there. Yeah, there's like no power at all. What would be the closest neighbor that produces any power? I know I don't see it. Are these guys producing power at all? Doesn't look like it. They may be in the same boat that we are that they can't run factories uh, at full capacity. See, radio. I mean, we don't have any radar set up, that's for sure. The research efficiency would be fine. Yeah, if we can make our way down to nuclear reactors and build... I don't know how... If, if nuclear reactors give us power, which it stands to reason that they would, I don't know how much power that would give us, but one nuclear reactor could turn the tide with us pumping out, like, as much as we can... And then those two factories would do a lot more, for sure. So July 20th, two weeks away from our second factory. 
Then we'll probably focus on another infantry division. Let's see, we could put that infantry division there or even there. Or we could put a second division up here to help uh, keep the north. Or we can move them down south. It just depends on where our threat is going to come from. Is Turkey our biggest threat for Axis? Slowly but surely on Turkey for Axis power and uh, Persia is really drifting toward Axis. If there would be one to join the Axis power, I think it would be Persia. So our Eastern Front would need to be shored up a bit. I think a new division on the Eastern Front would be good. We might actually shuffle uh, some of these guys down toward the east. Keep the two up front, because I think they can march from here to here. Yeah, let's put this division over here. Let's sort of shore up our eastern our eastern side in preparation. All right, eight days away, just a week until our next factory comes online. And it's a trade-off. Do I want the, do I feel that Persia will join the Axis sooner rather than later? Um, putting, pushing out those divisions really quickly would be good. Just in case. Yeah, I think we go with some infantry. Infantry would definitely be nice. That is if our factory can't run at full capacity. Uh, if the second factory produces power or energy for some stretch of the imagination, then we could pump out another factory. But I think for now, the next division would be really good. Now, I don't know what the air force is like in Persia, uh, but if they don't have any planes, we could get some air superiority with our one fighter plane that we have. But if they did join the war, I think perhaps France may come over or the United Kingdom would come over and help us out, but we certainly can't count on it. So I want these guys embedded uh, for, for 10 solid days so they can get that dug in bonus. And then everything should be fine. There we go, we have units available to be deployed. Oh yeah? The 4th Infantry Brigade. Yeah, let's deploy you there please. So we got one there, we're moving one there. That's pretty cool. Now they have the old stuff, so they're going to need upgrades, but that is really cool. All right, I see wasted. We're still only putting out 10 power. So let's get another infantry division. Let's see, do we want cavalry as well? I don't think we want cavalry as well. We'll just do a two infantry run. It needs 6.55 to come out. So June 5th, 1942, so it's almost a year away. And then once our upgrades go down, uh, we can focus more uh, production on that. But power is the, power is the main, the main concern. All right, Desert Warfare equipment is coming up soon, August 18th. Less than a month away from that, and I don't know if that is an upgrade or is that a... Yeah, I mean, all of our plains, hills, desert, 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 desert. Yeah, we are half desert, a few plains, one hills, three mountains, and one hill. So I think the desert uh, fighting equipment would be good. But I don't know if that is a, a second upgrade. Uh, basically, you know, do these divisions have a specialization? They do. Desert Warfare Equipment, no. 
So that's going to be even more upgrades that's going to be thrown that way. So for the time being, I think what I want to do is get all of these guys fully upgraded. Because if, if they join the Axis before June 5th of 42, all of this is wasted. So I will just dedicate... Let's just dedicate one to production and then every other thing that we can do will dedicate to upgrades until all of that uh, goes away or we can start breaking even. That way we can make sure that all of these guys have the equipment that they need, especially when the Desert Warfare equipment gets researched. They're going to be behind even more as far as upgrades are concerned. So we're going to focus on getting the troops ready to go. All right, terrain. All right, so your desert, your hills. Should be fine. How is Germany doing? Not a whole awful lot. Sweden's doing some occupation. Yeah, I don't see the Swedish army. Perhaps, uh, perhaps Germany nipped that in the bud. But no movement along this front. I don't know why they don't just sweep in and take that one province of Lock Fours. Or Lock Fours? But that's not for me to uh, decide. Just me being an armchair general. And yeah, our industrial capacity is still six. Uh, so our factories are definitely not running uh, up to speed. So it wouldn't make sense to build any factories anymore. That is for sure. I know, Let's see, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, and Slovakia. The units are in poor supply, the headquarters division, uh, but that's fine. We might research better supplies uh, once we get the desert warfare equipment done. Uh, since we won't have the atomic research, though we will be fairly close to production or industrial efficiency, that may be the next thing we go for. Since we are only a few months away from 42, we're not too far ahead of time here. And then we could we could do more with the factories that we do have. So we'll do that on the 18th. 10 days away from desert warfare equipment. And our factories are going to be in full tilt trying to get all of our divisions the upgrades they need. Uh, I'm pretty sure that upgrades need will go up way beyond 6 and our industrial capacity as a whole is six if we were putting out everything. So unfortunately, uh, we're, we're behind the eight ball a lot. But we are shoring up an eastern front. Uh, these guys should be dug in by now. Yes, indeed. Uh, they just need all of the upgrades that they, uh, that they require. And as we pump out more, you know, they're going to need more. Organization is going up. We're staying put, getting our upgrades, making sure that we are ready to fight. And we did focus on uh, basic training. So before these guys come out of production, they are going to be fairly skilled, which is all well and good. If we find ourselves at war with one of our neighbors, we may tone that down so we can pump out a division more quickly. But as it stands now, we, we don't even have the production to do it. We'll just have to wait for these upgrades to come in and then we can shift our production towards getting those uh, regiments out. Yeah, it's just a shame we can't turn any of this, uh, this oil into power. I'm sure we're shipping most of it. Yeah, 16 of our 18 is going to our master. So we're not gaining any oil. It would certainly be nice if we could use some of our oil. Uh, but the production plant will not allow us to do that. All right, so now we've got desert warfare equipment. Outstanding. We need to research something else. And I think the uh, efficiency would be good. Let's do that. Put that to the top of the queue. And keep the people's army down there. So yeah, by April... 
We will have researched that. Supply production? Yeah, we could do supplies. Let's see, supply production up. I think we need something like supplies. Supply throughput 10%, supply transfer costs. Perhaps making more supplies? Production? Coal to oil. We don't need energy to oil. We've got plenty of oil. We need oil to power. Oil refining efficiency. Yeah, we don't need metals production. We're fine there. Yeah, that one should be a quick, a quick research. Yeah, December of this year. So maybe if we make more supplies with our production, we can get more for the 0.83 uh, that we are spending towards supply. Seems legit. I mean, we're, we're kind of, we kind of have our hands tied. So we'll just go with what we know. And then by that time, then definitely the industrial efficiency uh, would come into play. Plenty of fuel, plenty of money. It's a shame we can't buy power. 0.63 of our supplies are traded away. Four is used. Yeah, and the supply usage is going to go up as soon as we get these guys on the field, but we're, they're not going to be on the field anytime soon. Yeah, 7.55 needed for upgrades. So slowly and surely, these guys should be getting their desert warfare equipment. Yes, indeed. Uh, the ironic thing is, up here, there is no desert. If we look at the simplified terrain map mode, um, it's hills and plains. So the desert equipment isn't going to do these guys any good. But I guess they get priority since they're further away. That may be how it works. The the units furthest away get the, uh, the upgrades because technically those would be the ones on the front line. Makes sense. But they're not going to be able to do really anything with it. I don't know if I could prioritize desert warfare equipment down here. But maybe. Are these guys attached to a thing? No, they are not. All right. Attach it to the headquarters hierarchy. Yep, so the headquarters is in charge of the artillery brigade. Artillery barrel and ammunition, artillery carriage and sights, assault concentration. Interesting. We haven't built art, uh, built artillery before, so those are new options to see. Yeah, 14 there. 15% on your desert warfare. They got the 1936 weapons. And it looks like... Oh, these guys are getting them. I was going to say, it looks like upgrading has stopped. But no, looks like the... Uh, the 4th Infantry Iraqi Division is getting all the stuff. Their desert equipment, anti-tank, and all that stuff. It'll filter through. Um, in the meantime, since France is honest, let's move these guys over to this Eastern Front. Hopefully we can still get them the upgrades that they need. Yeah, so December and December, just one day apart, we'll have the People's Army. Let's see, was that a theory or a land doctrine? People's Army, yeah. Militia, garrison, police. Yeah, and since we are militia, pretty sure we're militia. Reserve. then we should be getting the uh, that better stuff. Although that could all be wasted as well, I am not sure. 
Yeah, these guys are moving. Some infrastructure would definitely be nice, but I'm not going to waste the uh, tech research on it. Yeah, not a whole lot is happening here. Do you guys need some uh, extra motivation? Like, why in the world are you guys waiting? What are you waiting for? Two divisions there, 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 and there. Perhaps they're concentrating down here on the Belgian front, but, you know, they, they moved in one, one county, one province, and they just sort of stuck there. Looks like combat is taking place, though. Their organization is pretty wrecked. Yeah, so it looks like, yeah, constant fighting is taking place. 18 divisions there. They are reinforcing quite a bit on this line. This looks like a pretty impenetrable line trying to go around like that. Man, Maginot line is stacked. Something's going to give and it's going to be huge. We won't be involved with it. Not unless one of these guys join the war. Persia, Turkey, or Saudi Arabia. Now if they do, we can start uh, moving down. Looks like most of this is desert as well, so our divisions will be uh, well stocked to handle it. There isn't a whole lot of desert in Persia, at least where we would be moving in initially. Once we got to the center of the country, we would be in like a dirty shirt. How about up here in Turkey? Any desert in there? No, none. So our desert warfare equipment would not do us any good up there. But I'm thinking Persia will be the next one to move in. So that's why I'm shoring up this eastern front um, as much as I can. Getting everyone spaced out and dug in uh, to help defend. I don't know how long they are going to stay neutral. Still drifting towards Axis, split with Comintern, and a little bit of negative pull toward the Allies. I don't know if we are influencing anybody at all. Germany is the highest threat. Their belligerent actions may be used to justify aggressive behavior of your own. Well, if Germany uh, was down here, we could give some aggressive behavior, although I'm sure their units are stacked and, you know, really, really good. Yeah, that fact, those divisions aren't coming out anytime soon. We've got December 23rd and January 23rd. Uh, the People's Army slipped back just a little bit. Yeah, that's like uh, a month apart between the People's Army and the Electronic Computing Machine. And this is a wing and a prayer as far as atomic research is concerned. Um, we're just trying to get power is all we're well, we are we don't want nukes. We want nuclear power Yeah, we'll get some physics knowledge which is all well and good But yeah working on the computing machine will allow us to research faster and That is as far as we're going to go down that branch. I think I mean research efficiency 6% greater would be good. I think we'd be ahead of time though. Uh, we could focus on that industry, industrial efficiency seven, about that time. But yeah, so our technology to improve, coal power, did absolutely nothing for us. We still produce only 10, which makes sense because, you know, we're not producing any power at all. It's not a thing. Um, so a wasted tech, but it was good to see. We're just really behind the eight ball in a lot of ways. But maybe, just maybe, our uh, overlord will gift us some power every now and then. Because I don't even think if we took Persia, would we get any power from them either? And I don't believe so. Unknown in Tehran, but yep. We're just gonna continue doing what we're doing. It's the slow burn of research, making a factory, learning that that factory can't even run. It's doing nothing for us. 
and uh, defending our Eastern Front. But that's going to do it for me in this episode of Hearts of Iron 3. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next Hearts of Iron 3 video. Take care.